What's up, guys? War here. Welcome back to the channel. So we got so much POE2 content coming out from all of the big creators that um, and the devs that got to do the LA event a few weeks ago, I believe, or a little while ago. And now that a lot of that information is starting to get revealed, we got more and more spoilers and stuff just coming out before next week on the 6th on the official release of POE2 Early Access. So today I just wanted to do a video because we got... A lot of information here. Shout out to Open World Games for this video. There's so much stuff inside this video. I'll link it down in the description. But, man, this pinnacle boss fight is absolutely insane. And this is just a small taste of what the boss fights are going to be like in, like, PoE 2. So, like, watching this for the first time, this thing, this fight is just so nuts. And keep in mind, too, guys, if you watch the dev stream um, that they did when they did their full release last tuesday the hands that are actually on the back of this monster you can see these hands here those are actually like the wings that you got from watching as a twitch drop so if you guys missed out on that i'm sorry i don't maybe you guys can still get them but this is from the same exact person who or the the monster that actually does it it's so nuts this fight look at this so a few things i want to i want to point out about this boss fight like it just seems so cool i mean one, first of all, look at the, like, just the visual. The visual of the boss fight is so good. Now, I know that the devs said that there's a lot of telegraphed um, attacks, which you guys can kind of see here, which makes the boss fight, you know, really good, especially for new players. But look at the moves. Look how difficult these bosses are. They're so well designed, and all their moves are so cool. Like, obviously, one of the developers is actually doing this boss fight right now, so they know the ins and outs, but, like, look at that. Just cannons there. But, like, when we go to do this fight, it may be pretty difficult. You know, we may be underleveled or something. But this is a campaign boss. I want to keep that in mind. This is a campaign boss. He actually freezes him with that monk. The monk is going to be one of the best classes in the game, I think. I mean, they are, like, look, the moves are pretty telegraphed, so it's not too bad. But, like, holy crap, dude. Like, this boss fight is just nuts, man. Or, excuse me, I am wrong. Take that back. This is this is from doing the, um, uh, on one of the maps. This is from doing uh, Breach. I'm sorry. This is from doing Breach. It's a pinnacle boss for Breach. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, he's just dodging everything. All right, Neo. Oh, look at the hand. That's so cool. I mean, this, this boss fight just goes so hard. Summon some minions. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I mean, I, I ju I've just been blown away with so much content and so much information that's coming out for this game. This is literally going to change ARPGs in, the, in like, the gaming industry when it comes to, like, these games in the category, like, forever. I mean, every other team, company who makes ARPGs is going to have to just step it up. I mean, this, this, is, this is the the baseline now. Like, you have to do this or better. I mean, it's just, it doesn't, I don't know what else to say. It's just kind of, it's just kind of insane, man. And look how long this fight is taking, man. It's like a, a real boss fight. You know, no matter how strong a character is, like, you're going to have, like, a real boss fight as opposed to, like, one-shotting absolutely everything. You know what I mean? And that's a good thing. Obviously, like, once your character rises in power, these fights will be a little bit easier, sure. But when you finish these bosses, it makes Breach in the bosses harder, which is one of the things that's coming, which I think is amazing, right? It makes it worth it. You get better rewards from, you know, fighting these monsters and these bosses that are harder. The fight just looks so good, man. So dang good. The Creeping Dog. I mean, there's so much information, guys. And I just want to say, like, because he's about to kill it. Like, imagine, like, how awesome this boss fight looks and feels. 
The music's amazing. The visuals are great. You can just feel the intensity. And, like, every boss fight is going to feel like that. It's, you're just going to be so immersed. It's going to be hard to, like, not just love these fights in the game. Goo, goo. Ooh, that was a nice teleport there. That was sweet. Come on. Bam. Holy crap, dude. So good. So, like, see, it's a pinnacle boss. Oh, my God, man. I mean, that fight is just absolutely insane. Right, so that's an example of a pinnacle boss. And, uh, yeah, it's the pinnacle bosses are just nuts. It it's just so crazy, man. So when you defeat uh, pinnacle bosses, you're gonna get some for the atlas tree. So you can get points here into the atlas tree, and when you add points into the atlas tree here, it's gonna make it so where that the the bosses and the the content that you're choosing to do in this case, which is breach is going to be more difficult. So when you get those points, you're able to put them in there and it's just going to make it more difficult to actually do it, which is going to make the content more rewarding. And I like that they have that. So you can see here the twisted domain difficulty, which is where we, you know, you just saw that boss fight. It adds a plus to it. So it makes it more difficult, which means you're going to get better rewards. The boss fight, the boss fight, I think is going to stay the same. I don't think there's any new mechanics, as far as like increasing the difficulty of the boss fight, but still it, it makes it harder. So meaning more life where he does more damage stuff, stuff like along, along those lines, I would guess. And then you get better rewards. And I really love that in the Alice tree, they add these like little separate things. So you're really picking and choosing. We'll go over the Alice tree in a different video, guys. We got so much content to like break down, but and we got so many videos that are coming out to the channel. So I appreciate everybody's support because we are, you know, moving over to POE 2. We're not leaving Diablo behind, but we're moving over to, to focus more on POE 2. I mean, this game is going to be absolutely huge, and I cannot wait to, like, just learn all these new mechanics, all this stuff, and just really dive, like, deep into this game. And I'm going to try to take it from a more, like, beginner-based level because, you know, I've only played about four or five months of POE 1, so... Bringing this to the that way you guys can learn with me is going to be a really unique experience. But just the fact that this pinnacle boss is so good, and then you get then you get these items that are on uh, that that drop right, like these items that drop, which is just you get all these items that drop. You get regal orbs. We're going to break down the a lot of the basic um, currency because a lot of it has changed. But man, this pinnacle boss. I am not kidding, has just, like, watching it and just hearing the music, like, he's finishing up Breach, and then you're into the boss fight, and it's just, Zesh, we who are one. I mean, it's just so good. It's so good. And what's great here, too, is, like, if you can see, like, you actually get to see how much damage you're dealing. Obviously, you get to see the freeze, and you get to see these modifiers here. But, like, you get to see the amount of damage that you're actually doing, which I think is very unique, right? Like, instead of seeing, like, damage on the monsters in, like, other ARPGs traditionally, like, seeing it stack up up here in, like, a combo or something is kind of it's kind of nice. Like, because a lot of the times you're going to be looking up here anyway, you know, you know, as you're, like, finishing combos to see how much the bar has dropped. But, like, seeing the damage number is actually really nice. You can see it just jump up, like, to look at that, 184,000, 190,000 damage on that combo because the game is so based on doing combos. Like, getting up to those damage numbers is actually really rewarding, even though they're, like, lower numbers than, like, traditional ARPGs. But... I know in POE 1, those numbers are crazy high, but, like, it's it's just so good, guys, and I cannot wait to get in here and fight. Keep in mind that there is 50 bosses in early access, okay? 50. 50 bosses and 50 boss fights that are going to be just like this inside the game, and we're going to defeat each and every single one of them. It is going to be amazing. So, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching like the video comment down below help me out with the youtube algorithm guys for poe uh because we're making brand new videos so we got to push those out so liking and commenting will helping will help me out so much comment let me know what you think about the pinnacle bosses uh and what you're excited for in poe too don't forget to subscribe and as always stay gaming i'll see you guys in the next one peace